Fun time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Mike from 105 on the Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, Mike, I'm sure, like both of us, you've seen these pictures from Maui, from Lahaina over the weekend. It's just, it's it's horrible. It's devastating. Yeah. Jarring. Yeah, yeah, it is. But fortunately, we're, we are seeing a huge outpouring of support. A lot of folks wanting to do whatever they can to help Hawaii, uh, including some celebrities. Yeah, uh, The Rock and Jason Momoa both came out uh, over the weekend to show their support for everybody who's been affected in Maui and Lahaina and everything that's going on, both of which have roots in Hawaii. So obviously they're very passionate about this. Uh, they are advising people not to visit Hawaii right now. It's not a place to go for vacation, but they're also reminding people that if they want to help, uh, there's an organization called the Hawaii community foundation that they're both endorsing and supporting and saying that they will uh, make sure that everybody that is suffering down there is taken care of. So mm -hmm. it, it's good to see them. They haven't made a financial commitment individually, but they are offering a help uh, any way they possibly can and using their social media platforms to do so. Oh, we saw a little bit of video there of Oprah Winfrey as well. Mm -hmm. She has, uh, I can't remember if it's on, on Maui or on another island, but she has a, like a farm and a property there and uh, has spent some time on the island. So it's nice to see that, yeah. they're, that they're trying to help out. Yeah, I mean. And, and you can see Oprah out there on the ground. Uh, she said she was visiting uh, some victims that are staying in shelters uh, around the War Memorial Coliseum there in Maui. Mm -hmm. And she was visiting with them, asking them what they needed. Then she said she just went out shopping to get people stuff uh, and also pledged to make a sizable donation once they, uh, you know, finally get some tallies and numbers and to see what it's actually going to cost to rebuild those places. Yeah. Yeah. And it is going to be a large number, unfortunately. Uh, estimates we, we know in, that. in the five billions mm -hmm. of dollars. To your point, too, Mike, about hotels, if anyone has upcoming trips to Hawaii, they're asking, you know, if you can reschedule, if you can cancel. Uh, if they have hotel vacancies on Maui or on other islands, then they're able to put some of the displaced residents in hotels. You know, people right now with nowhere to go or trying to find a place to stay. So just, yeah, it's it's going to be a long, a long rebuilding, uh, a tough time for a long time for a lot of those folks. Yeah, no doubt about it. Nice to see the th those players in this in this, you know, in the major game right now trying yeah. to step up and, and help out. Um, switching gears here. So we've talked about the Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk showdown. They're supposed to have this cage fight, uh, an actual one and not not just this you know, Twitter, Facebook back and forth. Uh -huh. They do. Uh huh. He, Zuck says that Musk is not in on it. He says he's not serious about this cage fight, and he says he's done. Peace. Moving on. You know, last week, Elon Musk was clamoring about how he might have to have surgery before anything like this would ever take place. Dana White, the president of the UFC, even got involved and said he would sanction the match as long as they did it for charity, and he was ready to roll. But now it seems that Elon's kind of backing out, and Mark Zuckerberg is calling him out. He said, I gave him a date. Dana White gave him a date. He knows how to reach me. Otherwise, it's just time to move on. The best part about this whole thing is Mark Zuckerberg's making all these statements on his new platform threads. Elon Musk on X or Twitter, whatever it's being called today, he's he's over there making these statements. And it's basically just a war of social media. And we want to see this fight. So we need to make it happen. Right. Enough of the uh, passive aggressive tweets and threads and jabs. I want to see them throw some hands. Totally. Totally. <laughs> I will say that uh, I feel like Zuckerberg's kind of winning on this side oh, of things absolutely. right now. He's been direct the whole time. He's like, you're, you're, you're not showing up. He's for like, this. you want to fight? Here's a video of me in my MMA training. Right. And then like, I'll do Elon this. Elon Musk is yeah. like, oh, I have to have surgery. It's funny. <laughs> I never expected to root for Zuckerberg in anything, but here I am. Same. <laughs> You know, I still don't know if I'm rooting for him, but he does train in jiu-jitsu and he does train in mixed martial arts. He did say that if this doesn't happen with Elon, he's ready to move on with some people who can actually fight. So huh. maybe we'll get like a Conor McGregor, Mark Zuckerberg fight in the future. I don't know well, what that ooh. says about our world that like someday we might be looking at like uh, like the Paul brothers versus Mark Zuckerberg and like what? <laughs> and we're, we're already the there. Flame. Emily, one of the Paul brothers is a WWE I know, superstar. That's what I'm the saying. other like, one's the best might, boxer in the world. He might take on Zuck. What? Yeah. It is. And then, and then imagine when AI enters the mix. Oh, we're all, boy. we're doomed. Anyway. We're doomed. We don't even know if these people are not AI at this point, so. Valid, valid. Pro <laughs> created by Meta and Mark Zuckerberg himself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. All right, again, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. It's 8.15.